Almost a year ago to the day, two boys received what they would say is a Christmas miracle. Here at Duncan Lake near Columbus, Nebraska, two teenagers fell through the ice last Christmas and may not be here if it wasn't for the heroics of an area resident. Right away, just right down. And then it just automatically, like everything froze. My body actually felt like an outline, you know, like someone sketched me out. And it felt like that from my neck down. There was, there was a lot of factors at work that found us there that day, uh, not the least of which was mom. And her, the hand, the role she played in it, the role that my family played in it, uh, it was something, I guess it was meant to be. Blesson and his family were celebrating the holidays with his terminally ill mother at her home on Duncan Lake for what would be her final Christmas. She had actually fallen asleep after being awake all night on the couch, and instead of disturbing her, we had decided to have our Christmas lunch in the garage. You know, if we had been in the house, there would have been no reason to haul the boxes outside. The boys were in the freezing water for close to 15 minutes without anyone hearing their screams for help as they struggled to stay afloat. It was Blesson who first heard the boys after going outside. He pretty much came out with a long sleeve shirt, jeans, and sandals in a canoe and uh, stayed out there and put life jackets on us and stuff like that because I don't know if we would have lasted more than another 10 minutes out there. All I was really thinking of when I saw him come out is, you know, we might make it out of here. And then that's when I looked at him like, you know, kind of like a guardian angel. Unable to get the boys into the canoe, Briar and Seth held onto its side with Blessing there until emergency responders pulled in the canoe with a line. The boys had been in the freezing water for close to an hour. They were really surprised that I made it when we were rolling through. They are like, oh, look at the Christmas miracles arrived. They are like, if you were in there for like no more than like 10, 10 more minutes, you would have been goners. Both boys were taken to the hospital and treated for hypothermia and released later that night. Nobody can think about it, but there are Christmas miracles out there and, you know, we were just thankful that this was one of them. God was definitely looking over us. Blessing's mother would pass away a few weeks after Christmas, but he believes there was a reason she held on through the holiday. Well, this was sort of her big going out, I guess. <laughs> and if there was a way to change Christmas and the way we look at it for years to come, it would be in the opportunity that we had to help Seth and Briar. And that life goes on and we're just happy to be living it. For his heroics, Blessing was one of 19 people in 2014 to be awarded the Carnegie Medal. I'm Brandon Axmit at Duncan Lakes near Columbus, Nebraska, reporting for the Columbus News Team on 1011.